So today I'm going to go through how to set up and configure um, the Smart Home Alarm System. Uh, this model is the L2 LCD GSM. Okay, so it's kind of a little bit developed from an unbox system. So it's more of a setup than an unboxing and a setup. And basically it's a wireless home alarm system um, that's got uh, the ability to text you and also ring you if the alarm's going off but also to give you remote confirmations of the alarm status. Um, it's all wireless apart from the fact that it needs to be plugged into the mains power. Um, you get some wireless um, door contact or window contact sensors. You get one with this in its box. You get a PIR again that's wireless and you get one in the box with it you also get two key fob remote controls um, just in case you want to easily set the alarm on your way out and just go beep yep set and before you come in back through the door unset you get two RFID tags as well so that if you just put these on your keys as you're going out of the house you can just swipe it past that and that arms it and as you're coming back in the house you can do that and that disarms it so you don't need to enter any pins you can give them out to people or whatever they don't need to know your pin number then for the alarm and you also get some brackets and stickers and batteries and everything for these devices um, and they also throw in a little speaker um, a sounder for the alarm um, which you can mount somewhere nearby that will hopefully deafen people but the size of that thing I don't think it's going to deafen too many people um, you get some um, interestingly translated um, instructions in the manual uh, which do make for slightly interesting reading um, but you kind of get the gist of it uh, but basically that's why I'm doing this video because I got the gist of it and then I spent two hours basically going through each option for example it doesn't mention anything in there about entry or exit zones and you actually can set them up that's too easy uh, it doesn't mention anything in here about um, the ability to set a chime so that as you open the door it chimes or not. Um, it doesn't mention really anything about phoning out when the alarm goes off or how to phone in. So I've gone through all that and I've set it all up and um, obviously then I'll go through and demonstrate that with you now. So the first thing you are got to notice is the panel. Uh, the back of the panel is obviously um, you can mount it on a wall. Um, it's got routes for the cables to come in and out if you want to have it hardwired or to hide the power cable. Um, you can have it hardwired so if you want to not use any of these wireless sensors and wire it in to door sensors, uh, window contact sensors and PIRs you can do that as well. Um, but I'm just going to use it wirelessly apart from this. Uh, and the other thing to notice on the back is it's got a tamper switch. So a little spring that presses against the wall, you can hear it click and obviously then if somebody was to pull this off the wall the alarm would sound instantly. Um, but when you're actually setting it up just be careful what you lay this against or put it on because if that goes off then the alarm is going to go off as well. So remove the panel on the back and that gets you access to where you can connect in any wired devices. Um, there's a little power switch in there. There's the power jack for where this connects to and also there's a SIM card slot as well. It's a standard SIM slot, it's not a mini or a micro or a midi or anything else. Uh, and then obviously you've got a reset button as well so if you forget all your settings you can just press that and reset it back to factory. So what you do is basically put the power in, put the lid on the back, the blue light flashing there tells you that um, it's got phone signal. Um, it's now saying that it is powered on um, and it's uploading its settings. Now in the manual and everywhere else the uploading is seen to as if it's somehow connected so it dials into a remote monitoring station. Um, the passcodes for this if you want to know are the, the, um, the PIN numbers. Uh, the default user pin is 1111 and the default admin pin for making all the changes is 1234 and that is explained in the book. 
Right then, so once the control panel is up and running and you've got the um, the display up there, you can set the date and time. Um, the percentage symbol there shows you the um, the signal strength uh, from your um, SIM card uh, network. Um, and then you've also got a status of disarm. Um, if you want to arm it and you've got the RFID tags, you can just simply go like that. And then that's arming it. Right, so that's it armed, and then to come back in afterwards, and that's disarmed. Um, don't worry about the lights flashing in the background. For some reason, when this sends its signal out to turn everything off, it's the same frequency as my lights. So I just have to keep turning my lights off. Um, so that's the panel set up. Uh, to get into the settings of the main panel, um, obviously you've got all the contacts and the um, the systems here and you basically need to go through the setup of that. Now I found a PDF file online which helps with that because it fills in some gaps where the book doesn't mention it. So I'll give a link below to the PDF file so you can download that and go through it. Um, but ultimately the PDF file talks about um, basically pairing up all these so you can pair up this so that uh, you know, you can use the remote on there to arm or disarm and turn off. And you can even make the sounder go off, I think, as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, obviously, that's just a, a panic switch on there as well. Um, so, that's explained a little bit in the PDF, and it's also explained a little bit in the book. So, we can go through all that with it. But mainly to start off with, all I want to do is go through and pair everything up. Um, I can show you how you pair it up and obviously once you've paired this up you give it a zone name and you can give it attributes for that zone for example I can make this one my front door contact which it then knows that when I open the door the alarm doesn't sound that it gives me a time to enter which you can set the delay um, before it sounds the alarm and obviously makes the phone call or sends a text message um, and then I'm going to write on the back of each one of these so I know what they all are so that when I go and place them around the house uh, when the alarm panel says the alarm's going off and it's the back door, that it is actually the back door and not just that I put this on a window upstairs and someone's opened the window. So uh, go through all the setup of that um, and then basically from that point on um, it should just be a case of sat here, um, lay the panel down, do that and then just demonstrate how the alarm will actually sound with everything set out. Um, and obviously uh, you don't have to have the SIM card in the back there, that's entirely up to you, but I just think that's an absolutely fantastic feature just to get an update from the phone to say, yes it's done that, yes it's done this. Um, it's a very simple thing to do it. Um, you click on the cog, you enter the admin password. Uh, the first thing you see obviously there's time settings, um, but you don't have to go through the time. Uh, then you've got phone number settings, um, alarm call on your group one. I think you've got five groups here so that's five numbers it's not actually groups it's just numbers so that's five separate numbers when the alarm goes off it'll start at the first number if it can't get hold of that one it'll go to the second number etc and it's got a phone number so it'll dial that number for each record and an SMS contact for each record as well so simply just set up that and enter the phone number Press OK and that's it. Press the arrow which is number 6 key to go right. Oh, to go left, sorry, because we don't want to go back that one. So phone number settings, alarm call, we've entered that one. So we can go back. Phone settings, alarm call group 1, alarm SMS, press enter. And then we can enter the phone number for that one. And then if you wanted to add more numbers in there, then you can add those as well. But I'll just leave that. Um, and then again through the number you've got SMS settings, uh, the SMS phone number and you can set an SMS alert so that every time it's armed and disarmed it will send you a text message or if for so example one of these devices the battery is running low it will tell the device and then you get a text message to say PIR in the living room number 17 is running low so it's worthwhile setting that up as well. Um, you can ask it to let you know when it's lost AC power and it's come back on again. So yes, I'd like that. 
um, when the arm or disarm function is used on the alarm. So yes, because if I'm out of the house and the alarm's either disarmed or armed, I want to know who's done it. So I'd like that set on there. Um, the low voltage um, on the devices, I want to know that one. Um, and also um, when the sensors go off, I want to know that as well. So that's it in there. Um, the recording is a recording of you if you wish it to, um, so you can set your own message when it rings you to say the alarm's going off. Um, you can have a voice recording on there, and obviously it's your own message, however you want to do that. I've left myself a message that tells me to, you know, obviously sort something out because my alarm's going off at home. Uh, going through the message, you've got an arm delay, and the alarm arm delay I've put down as 10 seconds. So after I've armed it, I've got 10 seconds to get out of the house so that nothing else is moving and that's it stayed on. Uh, then you've got an alarm delay. And basically what this is, is obviously a delay before the alarm goes off. So as you enter the zone that you've told it you're going to enter through to get to the panel, it will give you this amount of time before setting off the alarm. So for example, I'm gonna tell this, um, that it's the entry and exit so when this is opened I don't want the alarm going off straight away I want 10 seconds or 15 seconds to get to the panel to enter the code so to clear it it says 10 seconds as default to clear it press the back key twice and then one five and okay my panel is just in front of my door so 15 seconds lets me put the shopping down or put a bag down and then get to the panel um, or obviously I can use my RFID or or the, or the blipper if I've got the blipper with me you know or if I really want to I could before I'm outside the house I could get my phone and text the alarm to say alarm switch off you know or I suppose if the very worst thing happened I could get my finger and put in the code and turn the alarm off but 15 seconds is what I've got on there obviously that's got a delay in um, the settings app there that's come out so those are the delays and the alarm delay on there, 15 seconds. The siren settings, um, I say depend on which zone number, you can set the siren differently. So you can have it sounding on one but not sounding on the other one. So for example, if you've got a pet in the house in a certain room, um, that you can just ignore it. If it goes off, it won't make a sound. Um, it's entirely up to you. But uh, I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, tone settings. Um, arm and disarm tone. Do you want a tone for the panel to confirm that it's disarmed and disarmed and disarmed? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go for on on that one. Um, and do you want it to beat as well? Well, you know, why not? If I'm having one, I'll have the other one. Um, the program and delete. Well, this bit is the crucial bit. This is this sense part. Um, and this is where it talks back to information that's in the book because the book does now actually refer to setting up these door sensors and what you want to call them and what specific settings that they are attributed to. For example, they're supposed to go on a certain range and it's got a, a range book in there that tells you um, that they are supposed to be um, the zone number for a sensor, PIR sensor, is between 21 and 30. So you go into here, you tell it what uh, zone number you're setting up, and it's between that and that. So basically, the door sensors start at 11, um, and the PIRs start at 21. So let's set up the uh, door sensor for one. So we go into settings, put our pin in, and obviously then we're going to go all the way down to program. Program and delete, yes. Zone number, obviously you want to delete those in there. And again it starts at 11, so this is going to be the first one. I want that to be zone 11. I want to program it, and now it's going to search for it. So you need to pull it away, put it back, pull it away, and it's seen it now. You've activated it, so it's seen it, it says success. So go back into that one again. Program zone number 11. Press enter. zone attributes that's the section I wanted to get so now the panel needs to know what this is so we go to zone attributes clear that enter number 11 press enter 
Now we want to tell it, yes, it's active. So make sure that activate is on and not disable. Now defense line. So defense line is one on this one. So we click OK. We tell it it's a door sensor. And therefore that the alarm delay should be on. Do we want a chime so that every time we use it that the door chimes? Well, yeah, because it's a door sensor. Is it a smart sensor? No, it's not a smart sensor. So we click OK and then we're done. So if we come out of that now and we come back all the way. Now that says obviously it's all set. If we move that now. So it makes a beep like the door is opened and it says 11 door sensor. Right, so just to demonstrate now what we've done. Um, I'm going to put that back there. I'm going to set the alarm. Um, and then basically um, the alarm will make a noise here and it will make a phone call here um, and obviously that will prove how that works. So to set the alarm simply is just press the arm button and get the beep again to say yes it's arm, that's not a problem, it's going to start beeping. Okie dokie. So that's now saying it's armed, it says uploading which I presume is sending the text message to me to say it's armed. Mm -hmm. So that's it, it now says away armed and I've got a text message off the house alarm that says alarm system arm. So we're all done, we're all set. So I'm now going to demonstrate coming in through the front door. Obviously it wants me to now enter the pin, which I'm not going to do because I want to make sure that it's actually going to phone me when the alarm's going off. There we go, that's the alarm going off. It's telling me the front door as well, so it's identified how the alarm went off. And there we go, house alarm. So, and we get flashing lights as well, woohoo, it all worked fine. <laughs> that's so annoying. Right then, so that's basically the concept proven now, is that the alarm's set up, obviously I got a text message again then that says uh, the alarm is now disarmed. Um, and it should actually have sent me a text message um, that shows me, yep, so the alarm system has sounded and the door sensor um, set it off, so it knows that the front door set off the alarm and that's when it sounded. Um, it will also let you know about the tamper circuit at the back um, and it will also let you know whether the alarm is on or off. 2, 1, OK, program, set it up once, set it off again, it says success. So click OK and that's it done. Go back, zone attributes, zone 21. I'm just going to call it a PAR. Alarm delay is off. Zone chime, I'm going to put that to on. And at least I can test it then. So if we're on there, that's it. So if I move that, so POR test data. So that's all right. I can turn that off then. So I'll do that. One, two, three, four. Enter. Zone attributes. Okay. Twenty-one. Um, I'm going to change. Yep, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. I don't want a zone chime on, so I'm going to do it off on that one. That's okay. So we're done there. Come back out and set the alarm. So I've now set the alarm. Um, I've proven that that PIR sensor works. I've got a message. So I now set the alarm off, there we go, PAR is set. So, unlock. 
Here's the phone ring. There we go, so the phone's ringing. Unlock. And there we go. So we're disarmed. And the lights are flashing again. It's always a bonus. Okay, so that's us set up now. So the other thing I want to work out, um, if we go back to normal mode, is the house mode. So if we go to house mode, now that's supposed to be now that you can walk around inside the house and nothing will set the alarm off. So for example at night time, the only time that anything would happen is if you open the door or window contact sensors but you can set the PIR off and that shouldn't change anything. So, so it's telling me you can see the PIR. Yep. But the house alarm hasn't gone off. See the PIR lights coming on. Move it down again. light come on it tells me that the lights coming on so it knows the PAR is working but the alarms on but it obviously it, you're only protecting the outside wherever these are door contacts and if we move the door it says front door has been opened and obviously then you've got the signal to cancel the alarm and then you cancel it you've turned it all off so that's it and then it says uploading which I've now worked out is when it sends you a text message. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away, I'm going to set up all these extra devices and then obviously tell it whichever one I want. Um, so that's just letting me know that the front door's been open. Um, so I know which ones that are going to go where um, and then obviously I'll set them up. I'll stop the lights from flashing every time this works because that's just really annoying and then we can come back um, and go through everything set out and then we can show which zone does what and then what happens when the alarm goes off and how you set the alarm off. So bear with me and uh, when you come back it'll all be set up. Right so we've got our control panel all set up now. Um, I've got a camera up there which is recording and I've got a little another GoPro I can show that way but essentially I want to run through everything now to make sure that it's all working as expected. So yeah, the App Store are place, um, or rather the Google Play Store and App Store are place links to down below in the description, so you can get the app for your device. Um, and the app's just basically shortcuts, sort of makes it nicer and easy to use, really. Um, but you can turn it on and off, and you can check the status, of the alarm, that kind of thing. So, um, for example, I can see right now from the display that it says disarmed, so it's sat there. It's not armed, as you can see from there. It's unlocked. It's not in any mode at all. So I go into the app. In the app I've set up, um, it asks you a few questions. Uh, so you need to know the panel name. Obviously if you've got more than one panel you want to access you can do that. Um, the panel number, that is the SIMS phone number. So you need to enter that. And then the panel password is the four digit or five digit or whatever. The panel um, password, the pin number that you're using to arm and disarm the panel, um, default it comes as 1111. So you've got that information in there, you save that, you click on the panel account, you say enter account, and then you've got just a few options then. You've got alarm, disarm, stay arm, inquiry, and two-way talk. Uh, the two-way talk is basically, uh, it's going to phone the, the panel and then you're going to be able to talk to the person through the panel which is great if you know you want to ring home and the mobile phone's not working or switched off or whatever you can phone the panel and if someone's there you know you're letting somebody in your house something you can talk them through it um, other than that I think the main features are that you'll want to check the status of the alarm so I'm just going to test that for now so I'm going to do an inquiry status it says sent successfully the panel has beeped so it's received that request and within a few seconds you should get a message back to confirm it and let you know what's going on. So it comes as a text message and it's saying the house alarm disarm. So it's saying that the current state is disarmed. So I'm going to say okay then I want to, I'm away, I want to alarm it. 
and there we go the panels beeped again so I've told it to arm itself the panels beeped I've got another text message to say arm okay now yeah my arms fine thanks what it means is the alarm is armed so that's it perfect now uh, you get a secondary confirmation email to say alarm system state is arm so that's it so all you really need now is that that's it it's all done and dusted um, obviously you can disable it the other way around as well if say the kids are coming in and they've forgot the pin or you know somebody like a neighbor wants to enter your house uh, because something's gone on they've got a key but you've not given the alarm code because sometimes your alarm codes are the same as your your credit card pin or something like that anyway so for example that's the case so your neighbor sat outside your house right okay yeah I want to go and check in can you please disable your alarm so you hit the button it says sent successfully it's done the two beeps so we know now because we're next to it that's turned off okay so we're all set up now basically I've done the testing we've made sure that all the remotes work the RFID works that each time you move one of these the panel says something's happening which is just fantastic all I need to do now is obviously uh, get the panel set up uh, put it where I want to in the house um, put all these there uh, change the batteries for the obviously the proper batteries the uh, the longer lasting Duracells um, fix everything up uh, put it on the wall um, and we're done really that's that's about as easy as it is so I'm um, really sorry that the the manuals are a bit basic um, but I hope that I've filled in the gaps and explained things a little bit more so if you do have any comments or questions obviously ask them below and um, for everything else like the online user manual um, there's a link in my description below uh, where you can get the PDF which does explain a little bit more than the book um, but not a great deal unfortunately um, but hopefully between the book, the PDF and this video you get everything you need to know about setting it up so thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe if you like the video also give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and um, I'll catch you soon thanks very much don't forget you can subscribe if you really want to and you'll catch up with all my other videos and get an email every time I produce a new one. Take care. Bye.